Hello, my name's Phil Jenkinson, and this is the Oskmouth Power Station. Back in the days of coal-fired power generation, this site was a hive of activity with multiple trains arriving down the train line every day, full of coal to feed the three generating units. Throughout its life, the Osmouth power station has burnt coal, which looks like this. Following conversion, the station will burn waste-derived fuel pellets, which look like this. Obviously, the two fuels look very different and they're, they're in fact different in almost every way. So the waste-derived fuel pellets are comprised of residual non-recyclable wastes, which is a 50-50 mix of waste plastic and paper wastes. The pellets are produced in off-site pelleting production facilities um, where waste is received, it's sorted and treated to ensure that the composition and, and chemical nature of the pellets are as they should be, and that's to a very tight specification. That specification ensures that the fuel will burn similarly to coal, it will release a similar amount of energy, and precursors of certain emission species are reduced before the fuel is burnt, such that SO2, HCl and NOx emissions are minimised. Importantly, the carbon intensity of combusting the waste-derived fuel pellets is reduced by 60% in comparison to coal. That's because 50% of the carbon contained within the energy pellets is of biogenic origin, insofar as the carbon has recently been absorbed from the atmosphere by growing plant material. All of the biogenic carbon within the, the pellets is sourced from end-of-life residual waste paper and cardboard and that, that waste has already gone through its life cycle as a product once if not several times before it's brought to site here for combustion. Overall the generated electrical efficiency of the converted station will be 36.55%. That makes it the most efficient electricity generator using waste fuels in the world. It's in this way that we can take an end-of-life waste resource that would otherwise be destined for landfill or incineration and use it to generate electricity much needed for the South Wales area using the most efficient process available.